snorted you like that, it's game over. Oh man, so we snuck in, we got into 40 yards from a really, really nice Impala ram. And unfortunately, he just sensed us. And um, he was feeding away from us nicely and he, I just saw him pick up his head and I froze. And he spun around and looked straight at us. And his neck just got longer and longer and longer trying to see what we were. And um, unfortunately, with an Impala, that's just game over. They, um, they'll they stare at you for way longer than you can stare at them. Because um, they're survival on the line and they, uh, they used to they're used to this kind of thing and uh, your legs go dead, your hands go dead, the bow gets really heavy uh, and you, you, there's no ways you can outlast an Impala ram. But anyway, he snorted and that signaled the end of the game and uh, ran away so... Ah. <laughs> Can't fault the effort. Snuck in and got to 60 yards broadside. I needed two more seconds to let the arrow go, and oh, it was such a nice opportunity. But in the end, big herds like that, it just takes one blessed buck to decide to move, and they all move together. Um, but that's 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 how they they survive, right? You know, um, the bush buck live in the bush, on uh, you know, all on his own, can survive that way. Les Buck and Impala live in the open and they survive on many eyes, you know, so when one spooks they all spook and that's why they stay alive, but lots of fun here in the Eastern Cape and I wouldn't be doing anything else. <laughs> Back at it again and um, totally different weather conditions this, this afternoon. Uh, it's overcast and we've got a nice breeze to work with and um, we've really located the animals it's a nice group of blessed buck and impala in the open land and um, yeah we found them bedded um, so hopefully we can try and get on them without them um, scenting us and um, get, a sh get a nice ethical shot off um, the other day we weren't so lucky but uh, I feel today we have a much better chance of coming right because we've learned our lessons and hopefully we can apply them now.
Well, chaps, this is the culmination of a lot of sweat and a lot of miles covered. Uh, we managed to get a young bless back here. And um, it's probably the animal I've worked hardest for in my life. We've got a herd of about 25 bless back. And they are extremely sharp. So they're on high, high alert. And um, my good friend Darren and I have chased them up and down. And this is the third day, the third evening. Um, and we've crossed paths with a few impala along the way. But we always seem to be coming back to the blessed buck. And um, this is probably about the 20th stalk we've had on them. And we managed to find a little pathway through a forest, which we snuck on our hands and knees and sometimes even our belly. And we crept to about 70 yards and we knew that that was still too far. And so we crept a little bit more, another 25 yards. And um, I felt comfortable enough to take a shot. I think I, I think the shot was 45 yards. Um, but I had to I had to sit on on my kind of on my on my top of my knees like this, which isn't very stable. But because of the low brush in front of me, it was the only option we had. And this young blessed buck came feeding through a gap which we had already identified another one walking through the gap, so I had the range and I just pulled my shot slightly and um, hit it a little bit back um, and then you have to go and find the animal again in this big herd. Thankfully the herd had split into two and I went one way and I glassed the animal very quickly and um, managed to stalk it again and got up to 62 yards and stood there nicely broadside for me and this time I made no mistake I watched that pin fly through my scope and hit it perfectly uh, through the heart the animal ran 20 yards and just killed over um, and yeah it's it, it might maybe a bit of adrenaline in the system but it's gonna be the sweetest meat I eat and um, yeah I'm just so grateful that we got it um, thank the Lord for that and um, yeah, it's also the first blood on, on my new bow, the RX-3. So I'm super chuffed with that um, and can't wait to get going again. And thank you to Doran for filming and for coming along and for sweating with me for so long. I really appreciate it. And I hope this is the first of many. Thank you.